More now to the Trump presidency today. President Trump will have lunch with members of Congress at the White House. House Republicans hope to vote on an immigration bill sometime this week. And in the midst of the immigration debate, the president's rhetoric, as well as that of some on the left, have many on Capitol Hill calling for more civility. Here's CBS 4 Stephen Portnoy. President Trump doubled down on his call to ramp up deportations without involving immigration judges. We want to tell people, I'm sorry, you're coming into the country illegally. We don't want you in the country. That's it. It's now over. And then he repeated his claim that Democrats want crime in America. This has become the party of Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi. That's who it is. So they don't mind crime, they want open borders. The immigration debate has seen rhetoric intensifying on all sides. Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters is calling on Americans to actively demonstrate against Trump administration officials whenever they're seen in public. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. The intensity of the moment has leaders on both sides of the aisle urging more civility in the debate. No one should call for the harassment of political opponents. That's not right. That's not American. We're close to reaching rock bottom and continuing to dig. I just don't like this. I don't, I don't think, I don't believe either side should be ugly to the other side. But with the midterm congressional elections ahead in November, the war of words may well escalate. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. The midterm elections are just 132 days away.